I don't want this to sound like one long whinge about bike signage in Perth, so let's start with some things that are done well. And here we are down around Fremantle train station, and on the road they've stenciled some huge signs that are really clear. Uh, the arrows are a little bit small, but what the heck, it looks pretty good to me. Then let's move on to going around the river, and uh, this is on the southern side of the Swan River. Yes, there's signage for ducks, and I almost got taken out by a low-flying duck around here. At the intersections, it's quite good. They've put in bollards, but they, uh, they don't mess you up. There's lots of clear signage, and the thing I do like is how they've made the uh, path snake around a bit, so it naturally slows you down before you get to the intersection where you cross the road and you've got to look out for cars. So, you know, that's a good idea. Uh, here we have uh, a new section, Pest pedestrians be alert. Cyclists ride slowly, share the path. All good stuff, can't complain about that. This is an example of poor signage. So I've come up this track here. I've got a choice of going up there, which will take me over to Perth, I think. Nice big giveaway sign. We can go that way. And there's the signage over there. And instead of the signage, I guess, being there where that pole is, with some things in each direction, it's hardly where to go. There's that over there. It's, yeah, just crazy setup. This is an interesting intersection where the path splits. And I've come from there. There's a sign there saying Optus Stadium. There's a sign there saying East Perth Station. I don't know where this one that goes up here goes, and I don't know where that one that goes uh, under there goes, through the tunnel down there. I guess it's East Perth Station, but where to from there? It's a problem with signage, it's just a complete mystery. So the path I was on just expired over there. That's all I've got on this side, but on the other side of the road, there's a path, so I wonder if I was supposed to go under that tunnel back there. There's the uh, East Perth train station. I guess that's where I was supposed to go. A bit bloody useless. Well, here's a bit of infrastructure for the crazy brave. So, this green lane starts here. Goes all the way up to the top of the hill. With uh, two lanes coming up behind, then two lanes crossing over. Yeah, somehow I don't think I'd ever be using that. Okay, let's try the tunnel. East Perth Station, right, eh? You just see how it flares out here. Oh, there's some steps there. Might be so you don't run into pedestrians coming down the steps. A couple of ways to go here. So I guess that's where I should have gone. Some for the train spotters. But where the hell am I going now? I didn't see any signage anywhere saying where I'm going. I mean, obviously that's the city up ahead, but I don't know where I'm going to come into the city. Well, it's the freeway, but uh, it's all a bit of a mystery, magical world adventure. Now that there's the first bit of signage I have seen so far, and I can just read it from here with my glasses on. So, Northbridge, Leaderville, Subiaco, up that bridge, Perth Oval, Beaufort Street, if I keep going right, it's a pretty interesting bridge. But the thing is, you know, I was coming along there at a reasonable clip, and I could easily see the sign from back behind that tree. And I should have been able to read it as soon as I came around that corner. I mean, look over there, there's that one way sign, it's nice and large. 30 kilometers an hour, it's nice and large. There's a green signage over there, nice and large. And then this stuff, tiny little indecipherable lettering. 